The 1x1 is one of the most overlooked footprints in Rust, and this solo base takes the 1x1 to the next level. This base features a meta shooting floor with endless angles, a mini open core, multiple offset bunkers to keep your loot safe while you're offline, and a dedicated oil refinery spot. This base has all the tools to help you dominate your next solo wipe. Also boys, we are closing in on 1000 subscribers. My goal is to hit it by the end of the summer. If you guys like the base, please consider subscribing. Thank you. The build cost, upkeep, and builder sanctuary code are listed on screen now. Anyways, let's take a tour. Heading in through the front door, you're greeted with your oil refinery and a jump up to main loot. As you can see, we have plenty of storage and room for any deployables you might need. These twig roofs allow us to open our bunkers. Deleting them allows us to close our bunkers. As you can see, you seal your bunkers by just placing a triangle floor and upgrading it. And to unseal them, you just place a twig roof like so. Heading down into TC room, we have plenty of boxes, our main TC upkeep, as well as a battery and our tier 3 workbench. As you can see, the base is completely symmetrical on two sides. Heading up our jump up, this is also a bunker, just to prevent top-down door raids. And here we have our little solo bedroom with two exits out into your shooting floor. Then heading out onto our shooting floor, we have plenty of angles for close range and short range, some roof retakes, and turrets that will cover your entire shooting floor perfectly. These are great. Then heading up onto our roof, pretty simple roof, plenty of room for turrets, some beds, and just some really basic peak downs. Didn't go too crazy on the roof just to keep costs down. Now let's learn how to build the base. Start off with the square foundation and this triangle pattern off of two sides of the one by one. Next, create your one by one TC room like so. Next, create your half height shelf for your TC room. Next, place an armored wall in the following location on both sides of the base. To save your time and mine, I've enabled two-sided symmetry for this section of the build. The next step is to place a triangle foundation through this side of the wall like so. Then, place a square and nine triangle foundations after it. Delete everything but the last square, and then build back with more squares. Then, place a low wall and place a triangle foundation through it like so. Upgrade that foundation and then delete everything but the last square you placed and build out another nine triangles. Once again, delete everything but the last square you placed and build back with more squares. Then place two half walls and upgrade them to armored. Place a frame on each side off of the one by one and then a normal triangle off of the two half walls. You should be able to place another triangle in it like this. And when you place a roof, it should delete. If the triangle isn't deleted when you place the twig roof, you built the bunker wrong and you need to redo it. Next, go ahead and box in your bunker areas like so. Next, place in the following foundations like so. If you want an oil refiner in your base, make sure to leave this spot blank. If not, you can place a foundation. At this point, your base should look like this. At this point, honeycomb the base like so, and also begin to add in the loot rooms. Begin to start boxing in your second floor and also finish creating the loot rooms. Add the following half wall honeycomb to these foundations so they don't get soft sided. These will also help create some of our peaks in the shooting floor.
At this point in the build, I will no longer be using symmetry. Before upgrading anything with the bunker, make sure it works. Place the triangle as twig, and then place your twig roof in to make sure it breaks before upgrading anything. And then finish sealing up the roof of your second floor. At this point, the base should look like this. Add in the rest of your first layer honeycomb. At this point, begin creating your shooting floor, like so. If you do plan on putting turrets in your shooting floor, you need to do it before you place down the ramps. Just keep this in mind when building your base. And that's the completed base. I hope you guys enjoyed. 